I don't want to take it to that. Mm. Don't think I'll be even halfway through it yet. How long do I take it to that? I started at half three. So today I'm going to create this white walker from Game of Thrones. All I used in this look was white face paint and black eyeshadow. I'm going to start off with white face paint and just cover it everywhere with the white. Just bring it all around into the hairline on the ears. And I'm just going to leave the neck part for now just because I don't want the white paint cracking. So I'll come back to all that when I'm done with it. I used a light brown colour to map out all the shapes that I needed before going in with like black or heavier colours because if I made a mistake it was easy to get rid of um, so, and it was easy to follow then as well when I had everything mapped out. And when I was happy with the shapes and stuff, I used a kind of like a little bullet brush and a um, darker shadow then to go in and basically shadow every area that I wanted. I had a reference picture of a white walker beside me. Um, just because I had no idea what I was doing, I was just going and doing stuff as it was coming to me. And like for stuff like shading, like what I'm doing now, I had no idea where to put the shading and stuff. So the reference picture was very handy to just look over and back. Um, it just makes everything so much easier. When I started drawing on the wrinkles and stuff around the eyes, I went back to a finer kind of angled brush and drew them in and then used my finger to smudge them out. For all these parts, I really needed the reference picture because just the lines, like you couldn't just draw them anywhere. They had to go in specific places just to make the looks to start coming together, like especially around the mouth with the little lines and stuff. Um, they all had to kind of come in the way. Um, it was just really hard, like, there were so many times I had to stop and just keep going back to the picture and seeing was I doing it right. For the wrinkles on the forehead, first I mapped out little lines uh, with a really fine brush and just to see where I was going with it and make sure I was happy with it before I went in shading. And for the shading part of it, I used a little angled brush and really quick strokes to go through it, all in one direction just to give it that kind of textured like look. most important thing in all of this was probably the shading um, just to make everything not look so human like and just to give it that whole look. 
when I had all the bases of the mapping out done, I then went in with a black eyeshadow and a fine brush and just started going back over all the areas that needed dark shading. Um, this all started to pull the look together more and this is when I started to kind of look like the White Walker. For around the eyes I just used a fluffy blending brush and black eyeshadow and kept going in until I was happy building it up. And for the lips, if I felt if you kind of scrunched up your lips and put the eyeshadow on, it kind of gave that wrinkled effect again on the lips. And for the neck, I didn't really know what to do with it, so I just dragged paint down a small bit. And then I went in with a smaller paintbrush and grey. Uh, you can kind of see it here, and that's where I was... It was kind of like mapping out where I was about to draw the neck pieces of it and it would give that little bit of shading to start it off as well. And again with a black eyeshadow and just an angled brush on those grey little lines that I drew I was just dry, drawing little um, lines across the way and these are starting to give like wrinkles onto the neck again. And using a blending brush then, or a little bullet brush with black eyeshadow, I was just kind of shading one edge of these little lines just to give it more dimension and stuff on the neck. For the hair this was a nightmare to get out. I back combed it and hair sprayed it and just kind of gave it a little bit of volume at the front and then just brushed my paint back through it all. Um, just it, it kind of finished off the look instead of my darker roots. This here is my finished White Walker look. Um, quite hard to do I found anyway even though I was only using white paint and black eyeshadow but it was quite tricky to get the wrinkles and stuff like on the forehead and stuff that was quite hard don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and if you like this video give it a big thumbs up